do you have to know design or Photoshop to be an HTML email developer? That's what we're going to talk about today. And um, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jenna and I am a HTML email developer and I'm also a designer. So if you're new to this channel, go subscribe down below and like this video. So one of the questions that I often get asked is if you need to know design or Photoshop to be an HTML email developer. And the short answer is maybe. <laughs> um, I wish there was a more definitive answer than that, but I'm going to explain as well. Um, so this is technically the fourth job that I've had that I've done HTML emails for. Um, two of the jobs, I didn't really consider them jobs because I was only, they were temp positions. So I was only there for one of them. I was only there for a month or two and the other one, I was only there for two weeks. Okay. So technically I have, um, had four positions where it was, they might, emails might not have been my uh, primary role at these positions, but I have done emails for them. So two of the positions were um, my title was a graphic designer. And at both of those positions, I designed and coded the emails. The two other positions, my title was email developer. And what I did was only coded the emails. So really it just varies. It depends company to company, um, whether or not you need to know design or not. It really all depends. Just like how, you know, some front end developer roles want you to know, you know, different frameworks, you know, there's really no definitive answer on whether you need to know design or not to be an HTML email developer. Now, with that being said, it probably doesn't hurt to learn basic um, skills in Photoshop, such as um, slicing out images, um, being able to just open Photoshop and check image sizes, um, stuff like that, pretty basic stuff. Um, you could pretty much probably, uh, you know, Google most of these things. Okay, so we are here on Google Jobs and I did a search for HTML email developer jobs. So what I want to do is I'm going to go through these and see how many of them list design or Photoshop under the requirements. So we got this one right here. It's for a freelance position in New York. Requirements, day-to-day -day execution of coding, design direction, segmentation. So it looks like this one does um, want you to know a little bit of design, uh, design direction, not quite sure what they mean by that. If they actually want you to design it or just give some direction on how it should look, not really sure um, what they mean by that. Proficient in HTML coding equals must. <laughs> that is something you should know. Um, and proficient in responsive CSS, Excel, and Photoshop. So this first one that I clicked on does want you to know Photoshop. Let's take a look at the next one. This one, uh, working with the design team. Okay, most people do that already. All right, it looks like this one, uh, let's see. This one, uh... Degree in art, graphic design, or similar. So this one also wants you to know design. That's interesting. Let's actually do a search. I mean, this is requirements, exceptional design abilities. Okay, so that's two so far that want you to know design. This one is in Pennsylvania, so a little bit further from me, but still, let's see if... Oh, well, let's see here. While an eye for design is critical, this position is 80 to 90% focused on coding, development, and testing. Okay, so this position um, 
while they want you to know design, it sounds like they really don't need you to know that much design since most of the position would be coding. But it looks like this is another uh, posting where they want you to know design. Approach to design and coding. In graphic design, web design, or related. Okay. So this is surprising me, actually, that so many positions are calling for design. Wait, wait, is this the same company? Yeah, it's the same company. Let's skip that one. Okay, let's check this for design. Coordinate design content. Okay. Convert approved designs to functional mobile templates and responsive design. Okay, so it looks like just skimming over this, this one also wants you to know a little bit about design. Um, this I, I think it's the same company we saw here. Uh, let's try this one. Let's search for design. Your account is web designer. Okay. Let's see, let's search for Photoshop. Let's do this quick, not to, not to bore you guys, but um, yeah, I think so far, looking through a lot of these, let's see here, collaborate with designers and various stakeholders, okay. Utilize Photoshop and Sketch to extract image assets from completed designs. So, I feel like a lot of positions are going to be like that, where the design is already complete. But they want you to know how to export the image assets and stuff like that. Simple stuff like that. I think at the very basics, that should be what you learn, and that should be what you um, what you should have to know at least to get a position as a um, as an email developer. So let's just check this. I'm gonna check one more now. The app. Nice to have. It's a nice to have experience with Sketch or Photoshop. Okay. Okay, so looking through these posts, I would say close to 50 50. We actually saw more that wanted you to know design than more than ones that didn't. But with that being said, like I've shared through my experience where I've worked two jobs where I did design and I worked two jobs where I only did, I only did a coding aspect of it. Okay. So do you have to know, know design to be an email developer? It's going to make it much easier for you to get a job in the field. But if you're only using an HTML email developer position to move up into that higher position as a front end web developer, honestly, I don't think it's worth it to learn design. I feel like if you really want to invest in being an email developer and staying an email developer for the for like years to come, then I think it would be worth it to learn design. But honestly, if you're just using this as like a stepping stone to work at this position for like six months to a year and then move on to a to a front end uh, developer position, then uh, maybe it might not be worth it. And it all is going to also vary based upon the person. Some people might be willing to learn design and some might not, you know, it depends on the person. But I think as far as being a developer in general, if freelance is something that you want to get into and you don't want to have to partner up with a designer, when it when it comes time to building projects like freelance projects, then I think it would be um, beneficial for you as a developer to learn design. But really, it's up to you. Um, it's still possible to get a job without knowing design, and um, but knowing it is definitely a good to have. So I hope that this video was helpful. And if anyone has any more questions about design and email development leave it down in the comments and thank you so much to all the new subscribers definitely awesome it's what motivates me to keep putting out new content 
So thank you all, and I will see you next time.